What is up, everyone? It's your boy Mosey here with your favorite other boy. <laughs> <laughs> I almost froze that one. We are back. Let's let's get it. What you got today for us, bro? Okay, so two days ago, I um, saw this article on Variety, and I'm just gonna share my screen real quick here, where the title said Timbaland unites with Bored Ape Yacht Club owners to form artist-owned Ape In Productions. Now, if you just heard this title what's your first initial thoughts on that first initial thought is that it sounds crazy because uh, it's never been done before exactly like and it's timbaland it's not like some random you know random person starting this artist owned production label i think it's a label i don't know so <laughs> <laughs> so i i heard about this and then yesterday i actually told you like yo there there's a whitelist like try to jump in and you got in and I got in, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> Tomorrow we'll find out if we can mint or not. Um, I, I think I'm going to mint this one because it, it seems very interesting. So when we look at more things, uh, one of the first things that I noticed is that there's this group in this Ape in production called The Zoo. And they worked, and then like technically Timbaland is part of this group. Right. And every board ape has a name. So <laughs> Timbaland's... <laughs> I don't know if you do. You know his name? I don't, I don't know his name. <laughs> he he called it. He called him Congo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So uh, everyone, ha- I, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you the other names too. Uh, it's kind of an interesting uh, concept that they're doing, and so they're releasing this like song called. Just say it. Just just do it, bro. Just say it. <laughs> it's called Ape Shit, because <laughs> you know it's Ape in Productions. Why not? Now, when you first see this cover art, what does it release? tell you like what, what what's your first initial thoughts first of all they look like a bunch of like they look like thugs they look dope <laughs> like they look like g's you know what i mean they got they got the suits gold they got the glasses yeah and they're just staring at you like yo we, we want to come hard with this right and you also got the b-a-y-c up of course of course too. you got them they're, they're rocking the merch this is exciting bro i don't really know actually what's happening yet but it's exciting <laughs> right so okay so I'm, I'm walking so let me keep continue the story here so i see this i'm like okay this seems interesting it says produced by timbaland uh by beat club too which is timbaland is a co-founder right, right. and that I, I i only know some basic things about beat club it's just i think it's uh, empowering beat makers to own the ips to their beats Sick. um so so beat club's technically part of this project too and then next thing you know is I see this uh, this link where Timbaland is like doing a little snippet of the music. So uh, why don't we just run that roll real it, quick, uh, get that you know, you know, real 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 taste. Let's go. Oh, see, this is what we get. So my songs. Hey Timbo, let the shit roll. I'ma make it rain crypto on this strip hole. Get the flow going, dummy. I'ma get slow. All I know about money is to get more. Why did you choose four days? I mean that, that. Look, bro. Look, the the two seconds was dope. I just want to know who's behind this. Like, who are these rappers, bro? You know what I mean? I think that's what's so. The, yeah, that's what's the coolest thing is yeah. like we're never gonna know who they are, and that's you know they're gonna probably re- remain anonymous, and that's what's so intriguing. Like you have there's six in total, right? Or there's five there on the cover. Um, let me let me pull up the so on, on their think, on their website on their website. These are the these the are six. the characters. Yeah. You got Congo, Safari, <laughs> Ferrari, Oro Blanco, Lincoln, Abraham, Mo <laughs> Money, Word Smith. So there's five because Timbaland's Congo. So there's five artists. Yeah, there's right? five artists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and then Congo's technically technically part of this. And then in in that one video, uh, Timbaland talks about uh, he talks about how Congo is like his metaverse persona nah. like 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 timbo exists okay, okay. as himself yeah but congo is his, his other thing like this other animal that lives in the metaverse it's, it's why i don't know it's it's, wild, bro. i i don't understand this whole thing but yeah th- that little snippet like it didn't make me go like i mean okay i'll, I'll be straight up it's the timbaland production that's that that made we, me we, like we both grew up on timbaland yeah that's the thing so we know so yeah. he's bringing that heat yeah, <laughs> and then um, so, I, and then when you look at their, uh, if you just go apin.com, that's when you can find all this information. And then um, I noticed that they're potent, like they they one thing they're gonna be doing here is um, building content with Bronze Studios to like brainstorm music videos, interviews, live B Club sessions with Timbaland and more. And like Bronze Studios, they these guys they're they seem like an established huge, yeah. <laughs> company that. 
they've won a lot of awards, you know, whether it's the Academy or other big ones. Uh, so I'm interested to, it, it kind of, re- and you brought this up, Nav, I, I, this kind of reminds you yes. of who. So look, the gor- <laughs> look, all my OGs from the 90s, early 2000s, Gorillas. So that's right. Here's a picture right here of the Gorillas. Here's one of the, <laughs> their, one of their more popular songs, like. Yo, they they may they may have been so ahead of their time that they actually created this. That's exactly what I'm ago. thinking because like the gorillas, like a lot of their content is based off of these characters. Yep, yep. And but these guys, to my knowledge, are signed under label. Yeah. So the difference here is that now we can buy this uh, NFT token to support A Pin Productions and potentially to like I don't know, I'm I'm guessing they're part of their future plan is to have other artists be involved in Apin productions right but it seems like the focus right now is on the zoo and like what they're doing with those artists but it's kind of the same concept like with gorillas you're right it's just these characters and and now these guys like own their ip like i think that's what's so important actually if you go to the website under uh the roadmap i noticed something they had on there when we we're checking out bro it said, oh yeah we didn't even talk about that it said apes called talent third from the bottom <laughs> yeah, so what, right what makes me think is what you just said is that they're going to try to find other apes in the community around the world that want to join this production company. And they're going to be separate than this rap group. Yeah. But by buying the token, I'm assuming, you know, we're going to be a part of this whole ecosystem. Yeah. That and I, I honestly don't think it's going to be exclusive to board ape owners. Like, the first of all, the token is yeah. not exclusive to board ape uh, owners. So this is going to go live uh, on the 17th, public sales on the 17th of November. Um, and so part of their roadmap, is, is exactly as it is mentioned here, is that... You know their tokens. Uh, it goes live. They're opening for. Uh, they're yeah. opening ape in production for talent pool. I still don't know what the talent pool actually means, but I'm I'm guessing like more creatives involved and to try to bring on to the team or maybe collaborations. But so much more like metaverse concert. We talked about that the yeah. other day. Yeah. It's uh, or maybe Decentraland or other places. Um, obviously, in real life events, it always like it's yeah. gonna be. I- because like like the mystery is gonna be like who are these characters exactly like who are these you know and, eventually and they have to do a real concert so here here's what I'm I'm gonna throw out there right now what I think is gonna happen okay this is gonna eventually turn into Ape Fest which is gonna be like its own Coachella oh. and it's gonna be this massive thing where all these NFTs are combining or maybe it's all just apes Ape but Fest. you're gonna have people like Timbaland getting other headliners to come out. Yo. Where you're gonna see other favorite artists, you know, other than these guys. Ape Fest sounds hype. Yo, <laughs> yeah, at least look, man. The future is what their in real life events are gonna be. I think that's gonna be really yeah. Cool. Honestly, there's so much to dissect into yeah. this project alone that I'm extremely intrigued, and then I'm curious, you know, just to see like Tim Timbaland's influence and like it's all board ape owners. And the, the best the, the best thing about this whole thing is that it's stemming from the board ape yacht club project because yeah. board ape gave the rights that these these apes you can do whatever you want with them and these these this gr- uh, group of individuals decided to form ape in productions with timbaland who owns a board ape as well no it's sick so uh, i think it's really exciting bro like i said this is the future of what's coming with nft projects in general so i mean the question now is like we gotta see what happens when the token drops yeah now we gotta see we gotta see what ape shit's all about we gotta hear Live reaction when it drops. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Live reaction yeah, 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 yeah. when it when it watches. You know yeah. when it drops, we gotta watch it together. Yeah, That's yeah. It. Um, and uh, yeah, let us know if you guys like this A Pin Productions. What do you guys think of artist owned entertainment media production? Uh, if I think it's a smart trajectory in the metaverse, and it's only gonna scale up from here. As always, comment down below. Let us know what y'all think.